Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with more Deuteronomy. We're getting there. We're almost done. I really like Deuteronomy. It's had so much good stuff. There's so much in each chapter. Maybe not every chapter. Just being honest. Where I'm like, there's so much I'd like to share. Which, which thing should I pick for tonight? What will be interesting? What do I think the Lord wants to speak to people through me tonight? And there's just a lot of stuff in Deuteronomy that's speaking to me. And tonight, I found a classic. You guys have heard the I'll never leave a forsake you thing, right? I think, yeah, even most non-Christians have heard that line before. It's kind of a Christian Bible thing. I found it. It's here in Deuteronomy chapter 31. Twice, it's in verse 6 and verse 8. So I'm just going to read both of them. Verse 6 says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. And then to verse 8, And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Popular verses, right? And it is quoted once again in Hebrews, where the author of Hebrews says, By the way, he has said, he won't leave you or forsake you. It's as good a time as ever. Doesn't need a whole lot of explanation. If you need help, if you feel alone, if you don't think there's a single human on your side, well, one, you got me, you got, you got the little geek here who plays Toho and gets scared crapless at Five Nights at Freddy's and who you can't actually talk to. That's encouraging, right? Right? Eh? Eh? Okay, I'll, I'll stop now. <laughs> it's not very encouraging at all. I do care, and a lot of other YouTubers as well, besides me, care about you. And if they had a chance to talk with you, I'm sure, just like me, they'd want to sit down. They'd want to listen. They'd want to have a discussion. And we simply don't know you face to face, and we can't. And sometimes the thought of an invisible God being there with you doesn't help you a whole lot either. And that's where faith kicks in. There comes a point where you have to acknowledge that that reality, the whole spiritual God thing, is even greater than this reality, this thing which we, we can touch and see and feel. We've got to acknowledge the fact that all of these things, you know, like even my mouse here, which allows me to move around and click on stuff on my computer and my mic, which I talk so beautifully into, and you can actually see now that I'm lifting it high enough. All of these things actually pale in comparison to the ultimate reality of Him. You know, this entire existence is one day going to fade away. I don't need to remind you that, you know, 100% of human beings die unless you're Enoch or Elijah. Maybe we'll get to be, maybe we'll get to up that number to four, me and you. Who knows? But all of this is going to pass away one day. That's the reality that's going to remain. If you don't believe that, I completely disagree with you. And it's cool if you've watched the video this far and you still disagree with that. But really, be encouraged. I know you don't see him. I know you don't hear him, smell him, taste him, feel him. But he is there. He is real. And he has not forgotten you. If my voice in this video is just one more way of saying it, please take it to heart that he is right there. He hasn't left you. He hasn't forsaken you. And also, like the verse says, be strong and of good courage. I love you guys very much. God bless.